This video is about simulation method. Earlier, I have made videos on ad hoc method, checklist method, matrix method, network method, overlay method, cost benefit analysis for assessing the impacts of a proposed project at a given location. Simulation is the process of duplicating the behavior of an existing and proposed system. It consists of designing a model of a system and conducting experiments with this model either for better understanding of the functioning of the system or for evaluating various strategies for its management. The essence of simulation is to reproduce the behavior of the system in every important aspect to learn how the system will respond to conditions that may be imposed on it or that may occur in future. Mathematical simulation models use a compilation of equations and logical statements that represent the action of a system's elements and are very useful and popular. It could be static or dynamic. Dynamic models take into account the changing parameter of the system and the variations in their operation. System analysts have developed an approach to environmental impact assessment and management commonly referred to as adaptive environmental assessment and management, which combines various simulation models to predict impacts. This approach broadens the potential of simulation models to evaluate the impacts of alternatives and is beneficial for project planning. The AEAM approach, which uh, uses small interdisciplinary teams interacting through modeling workshop over a relatively short time to predict impacts and evaluate alternatives, including management measures. The AEAM technique can handle higher order impacts and interaction between impacts. So there are several software uses for environmental inter impact prediction and I have written some of them. The industrial source complex short term ISCST and AR mod are for uh, air pollution prediction for suspended air particulate matter, SOX, NOX, etc. Mod flow for groundwater. Dhoni Pro is for sound. Google Earth Pro, Edas Engine, Geometrica, Arc, GIS, ArcMap, QGIS, this is for remote sensing and GIS applications. So like other method, this method uh, has also some pros and cons and the benefits are simulation models impose a logic and structure to analysis. They provide insights into the system behavior. Their structure is ideally suited to experimental works. They may be designed to accommodate many options. Projections into the future are facilitated with their use and they, did, they can aid in communications between analysts and policy makers. Concerts, some simulation models are very data hungry and their data requirements cannot be made uh, uh, easily. The handling of intangibles is difficult in simulation models also. There are high cost of development uh, or, uh, and or use of simulation model, particularly the complex one. Trained and experienced manpower is needed to interpret their outputs. The user may not always ready to accept the models and their results. So, so after, after, after this model, so the user may not always accept it. So this is uh, some of the uh, reference here. So you can read these books. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.